All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install power steering into an Integra for a case swap without having to spend a bunch of money. And in my case, it's the DC2 chassis with the K24 motor. Here we have the RSX Type S or RSX in general, the power steering line. You're gonna have to do some bending on the um, the line itself. The plug that plugs into the power steering plugs in perfectly. Um, so stock RSX power steering line, power steering pump comes out of a TSX. My line that goes from the pump to the reservoir and then from the reservoir there's a line that goes down comes down underneath into my power steering cooler and then from the power steering cooler it goes into the power steering rack I routed the line underneath the mount up against the firewall. Here, I'm gonna have to probably figure out what to do because the header is gonna sit right here really close. The header is gonna sit really close to this line, so maybe figure out how to bend it so it's out of the way. So now what we're gonna do with this power steering cooler is I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it. Uh, I'm gonna use these two zip tie deals, but I believe I'm gonna mount it right here. And then the lines will go through. And uh, yeah, that's how we are gonna do it. Okay, make sure you get this foam piece in the back to ins to keep the um, two coolers separated and so it doesn't rub against each other. Okay, now it's all mounted up. May want to mount this before you put this all together. It was difficult for me, especially with the tight room that I have to deal with. So now I'm just gonna route this line. Okay, so here I am running my oil, oil cooler hose underneath. I'm gonna run it underneath here and it's I'm gonna clamp it up here and I'm just gonna kind of tuck it and hide it and it's gonna go into the power steering rack and here it is right here. Okay let's start with removing this clamp right here. Okay, so here we are with our line from the power steering rack. I have it routed. I used the existing Integra mount or bracket to hold that. And it's gonna route underneath here. And I am gonna zip this up on the bottom. And it's gonna go through there to the cooler. So this line came with the oil cooler and actually it was enough for just this run to the rack. So with this extra 3 8 line I'm gonna run this to the reservoir and so this would be the extra hose that I would need for the three eights. Okay, I know I told you guys um, the hose size that I use is a three eights, and um, three eights is actually pretty tight. So I'm gonna recommend to use eleven thirty two. So with this, it came with the oil cooler 
it was a little tight but it worked and this is a 3 8 it was tight but it worked but you might want to go a little bit bigger next here I will install my OEM uh, power steering reservoir holder once the bracket is installed I'm gonna use my stock GSR OEM power steering reservoir okay on this line I went ahead and I routed it underneath as you can see it's running from the cooler up into the reservoir okay here I got these heater hoses this comes in a six foot it's a five by eight and what I am doing is I am running that hose on the bottom of this reservoir I'm gonna come down this way and I'm gonna come underneath and then I am gonna come back up here and connect it to the power steering pump okay here's my power steering hose that I have set up it runs from the compressor down underneath and I am using this factory Integra bracket that used to have the AC line this is gonna hold the power steering line and it's gonna come up through here and into my reservoir